Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, Taurus. It's Dana. What's going on, you guys? Figured we'd do a little FaceTime today. It's been a good minute since we've had some FaceTime, right? So... Oh, look at that. The Ten of Pentacles trying to come out. I figured we'd do a little FaceTime, all right? Uh, let's let's just uh, throw some cards for Taurus and see what's going on. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. Scooch up to this table right here. Let's have a talk, okay? If you're coming back to the channel, of course, as always, it's all about you. It's for you. It's about you. And the only reason I do this is because of you. So thank you. All right, you guys, everybody subscribe because it helps my channel. It helps my channel. You know my statistics on YouTube? You know, as a creator, you can go look at the statistics. And of everybody who watches my videos, only half of the people are subscribed to the channel. So, you know what? Do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button. Let's push those numbers up because it helps my channel, helps my life, and it gives me inspiration and motivation to keep doing this, all right? Let's just see what the cards have to say for you guys, all right? This is a general reading. Do not take any of this to heart. Do not make life altering decisions off of my general tarot card readings, or guess what? Anybody else's, okay? If you have issues and you are um, binge watching tarot videos to try to find your answer, you ain't gonna find it. The only way you're gonna get your real answers is to have your own cards read by me or somebody else that you trust. But get your cards read and stop blowing your mind and and feeding your, uh, your flesh with the videos because you'll always see yourself as either the victor or the victim in the videos, okay? All right, let's do this. Let's throw these cards. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus here with me, Spirit, and they want to know what you know. What do you know about Taurus, and what does Taurus need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, what's coming towards Taurus? They're just bouncing everywhere. Spirit, what's coming towards Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And how do they navigate everything for their very best and highest good? Please tell me where the stopping point is. I will cut three times and I will pull straight from the top. Spirit, what is it that Taurus needs to know and understand? What is it? Right there feels good. All right, let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three and three bottom of the deck is justice nice justice king of wands king of swords two of pentacles very nice that'll make hella sense to everybody in just a second i'm gonna lay out a whole bunch of cards i'm gonna confuse the heck out of you and i'll sew together a story okay all right let's do it first card out is the Hierophant, nice. Commitments, obligations, contracts, belief systems, the lovers in reverse, the princess of wands in reverse, the queen of cups to the five of wands in reverse. All right, the eight of cups, the ten of pentacles, seven of cups in reverse, the queen of pentacles in reverse, the two of cups in reverse, the prince of cups in reverse, and the two of swords. Six of pentacles in reverse, the sun, the magician, the moon, the moon in reverse, the nine of cups in reverse, the two of wands, the princess of swords, the ten of wands in reverse, temperance in reverse, and the star. Absolutely beautiful. We're going to take that seven of swords, the four of swords in reverse, and the nine of wands as well. We'll take the prince of pentacles and strength, and we'll stop at strength. All right, let's do it. Let's make some sense out of this, Taurus. Okay, let me just, I always forget to do this, so let me do this real quick, all right? Let me just push these cards up so everybody can see everything. All right. All right. Okay. Let's do it. So the Hierophant, what the heck is this all about right here? The Hierophant to the Eight of Swords, all tied up in the head. Hmm. 
Can you tell me to the three of wands? Not seeing the forest through the trees. Need to have some foresight. Need you to unlock that mindset. To the lovers in reverse and the princess of wands in reverse. This is a lack of effort, a lack of desire. To the lovers in reverse. Tell me about these two right here. The ace of wands. Yep, 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 yep. The queen of cups. To the six of wands. All right. What's the five of wands in reverse about right here? The devil. Right on. All right, Taurus. This is what's happening. Okay. This is what's going on right here. So, 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 so. Starts out with the Hierophant, okay? There is two things about this Hierophant, okay? It's about your core fundamental belief system, and it's about an opportunity that the universe is trying to bring your way, okay? The Hierophant being the card of Taurus, starting the whole thing sets the tone for everything. So what this is asking you is, what is your belief system? Lovers in reverse, because your belief system is not matching universal order. Okay, the lovers in reverse is about a disconnect with frequency. If it's in the reverse and we're talking about a love relationship, it's a disconnect with frequency. You're not aligned in this relationship. Okay, if we're talking about self love, okay, your vision of yourself is not aligning with universal order. If we are talking about the an opportunity for love, your belief system with the Hierophant is not aligning with universal order. And we need you to step in line, to get in line here. Whatever this turns out to be, this particular Taurus is not aligning themselves through their core fundamental belief system with universal order. They're, they're just not. They're just not. I asked what the root of this Hierophant is, and it's the Knight of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. So this Hierophant is an opportunity for some kind of committed, for some kind of a committed situation in your life, okay? The Prince of Wands right there, the Knight of Wands, right, is about um, inspired action, communication that's going to be coming into you, Taurus, okay? It's coming into you, and, and they need you to be perceptive and aware of what's happening. The Four of Pentacles, they need you to pull it together, find your sense of security, your sense of balance, your pivot point inside of your chest, right? because this opportunity is somehow going to bring you a whole lot of stability in your life, okay? The Eight of Swords, you're all tied up in your head. You're not thinking in the direction of universal order. You're thinking, you're processing some kind of something from a human perspective, and it keeps you paralyzed, okay? And for this opportunity to come through, for this to happen in your life, they need you to loosen up that mindset a little bit because it's out of union with universal order, okay? The lovers is about frequency, right? And in the reverse, it, it can't create anything because your frequency isn't matching the frequency of universal order. All right, the three of wands comes on top of this and says, have some foresight. See the forest through the trees, okay? Have some foresight. We're telling you, we're giving you this message in order to prepare you for what's coming so you can act accordingly and engage appropriately with universal order. Ace of Swords in reverse, because you're not, you're not, again, thinking properly, Taurus. You are not aligned in your mind right? You are not aligned in your mind with the way that things need to shake down in your life to get you to where you need to be in the grand scheme of things, right? All right. Princess of Wands in reverse. This is a lack of desire, a lack of effort. And that is the problem in that Eight of Swords right there. Taurus doesn't desire what it is the universe needs to bring into your life and they need you to 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 get on board with all of it okay the ace of swords 
The Ace of Swords is, a, I'm sorry, the Ace of Wands is a brand new, brand new match spark of an opportunity. And if your mindset is trapped in the Eight of Swords, you're not going to see it when it comes. The Three of Cups, this new opportunity involves one or more people. And then the Hierophant reiterates the Hierophant back there. This is the opportunity. This, this is the opportunity, the Ace of Wands, the Three of Cups, and the Hierophant. This is the opportunity that these cards want you to recognize that you're not prepared for because you're locked in some kind of a mindset, all right? All right, the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups says, ancient soul ancient wisdom, healed emotions, emotional control, emotional intelligence, healed emotions, ancient soul. That's what, that's where they need you to be. Look to the six of wands. So you can engage in the success that this opportunity is going to bring into your life. Mm -hmm. Five of wands in reverse. Five of wands in reverse is about the avoidance of responsibility. What kind of responsibility are you avoiding? Well, the devil. You are processing your life's situation and circumstances from a purely flesh-based, flesh-driven, human understanding of life. Okay? The devil represents human nature just as much as the high priestess represents your soul nature. All right? So this card is saying the attachment, that's the restriction to your growth, is the page of wands in reverse, which is the same page of wands in reverse that was right there. The attachment that is a restriction to your growth that is keeping you from universal order is your lack of desire to put in effort to unhinge, unwind this mindset of the Eight of Swords, okay? All right, come down here. Got the Eight of Cups, okay? The Eight of Cups is about deciding that something just isn't worth it anymore. It's someone who is coming to resolve that something just isn't worth it anymore. And what is the root of that? The Ten of Cups in reverse and the King of Pentacles in reverse. This particular Taurus is in this mindset of the Eight of Swords right here because they have engaged in the past and um, got a bad taste in their mouth, whether this is love, a job, it's either love or a job. I, I really don't see anything else coming through here besides love and, and money, honestly. Love and money, love and money. That's what I'm gonna call this reading, love and money. Because that's what the universe is trying to bring into your life. But Taurus has given up, they've given up. Ten of Cups in reverse, right? E e broken home, broken marriage, broken feelings, just the whole broken thing. And then the King of Pentacles in reverse, right? King of Pentacles in reverse is, is, is someone who either you, Taurus, could not step up to the plate and be the King of Pentacles in some previous situation in your life, or someone else couldn't step up and be the King of Pentacles in some other situation in your life. Perhaps you were in a relationship and you simply could not be what the other person needed you to be. And that's fine because not everybody is for everybody, right? Perhaps someone else couldn't be what you needed them to be in a relationship. And if that's the case, you need to understand that, that that's okay. Not everybody can be what the other person needs them to be in a relationship, whether it's a work relationship or a love relationship. But the Eight of Cups is like, mm, 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 mm. no, no thank you, no thank you. The moon in reverse comes on top of this and says it's time to reconsider, Taurus. It's time to reconsider. You have to come to terms with the big, huge internal struggle between that which you know to be true and that which you just simply don't want to accept is the truth. Perhaps you know that your previous situation couldn't have and shouldn't have and wouldn't have ever worked out, but you're having a hard time coming to terms with that because back to that devil card, because in your flesh, that's what you wanted. You wanted it to work. You wanted it to happen. This is what you wanted to be your future and it didn't work out. 
right? The moon in reverse says you have to come to terms with this inside of yourself. The wheel in reverse because it's blocking universal order in your life. Your life, you are a tapestry in the beautiful design of universal order. And if you're not playing the game, it can't help you. Universal order carries on with or without you. As we all know, time stands still for no one, right? So they're giving you this reading because there is a problem with the mindset of this particular Taurus that is not open to receive what the universe wants to bring into your life. Mm -hmm. Taurus has some kind of expectation of what it should have been and they're not open-minded enough to understand, realize, and accept that what you think something should have been doesn't necessarily mean that it should have been. Mm -hmm. What's in your future? What's this opportunity? What are these double hierophants here? The Queen of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Three of Cups, the, the Six of Wands, the Ace of Wands. What is this all about right here? Well, it's the Ten of Pentacles to the Star. The Ten of Pentacles is security, safety, foundation, legacy, your future. The star on top of it says the renewal of your life, the path and the purpose of your life is in this Ten of Pentacles. Whether it's money, whether it's security, whether it's, it's, it's a union, the Ten of Pentacles is about foundational security. That's what the universe wants to bring into your life. But Taurus says, if it doesn't fit into my box, I don't want it. And the universe says, your box is too small. Mm -hmm. Seven of Cups in reverse in the center of the reading. This is delusional, delusional energy. What's the delusion? What's the definition of delusion? Well, delusion is something that someone is believing that isn't true. It's just not true. But you're stuck in this delusional believing, Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Two of Cups in reverse, that there is no hope to be a Queen of Pentacles to a Ten of Pentacles, that there is upset in the home, the family, the finances, and nothing is ever going to change. Two of Cups in reverse represents why you are stuck in that Eight of Swords mentality, again, whether it's love or work, okay? but there is some kind of unviable relationship that Taurus tried really, really hard to make viable, and it didn't work. And that's because Taurus is fighting against universal order. I want what I want what I want. This person is supposed to step up and be what I want. This person knows my expectations 100%, but refuses, refuses to step into what I need them to be again, job or love, right? That's not how it works, Taurus. It's not how it works at all. We have to understand that when we choose things in our flesh and bone understanding of life, when we choose things outside of the never-ending linear perspective of eternal existence, when we demand that things be our way and only our way, you find yourself lonely, broke and in the mindset of the eight of swords trapped trapped in fear trapped in anxiety trapped in your mind and this is a, a story here about a taurus that's not willing to loosen up on what it is they think their life should be mm -hmm. and universal order is telling you if you will just loosen up a little bit and allow us to bring you what it is that is part of your path and your purpose and your destiny, you might realize that what we got planned for you is way better than anything you could have ever created by yourself. True. Delusional in the center of the reading. To the King of Wands in reverse. Again, processing things out of your flesh understanding, egocentric and self-centered. This is a Taurus who is focusing on, I want what I want and I only want what I want and I don't want anything else besides what I want. They know what the future holds and you don't. King, the Knight of Swords in reverse. Knight of Swords in reverse is 
someone who perhaps will not respond or engage or reciprocate some kind of communication. Knight of Swords is someone whose mind is not straight. Your mind's not in the game. The definition of this card is a need for organizational thoughts. Okay, this Taurus is stuck in the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Two of Cups in reverse, then the Seven of Cups in reverse, the King of Wands in reverse, thinking maybe that everybody is the same experience that they've had in their life. And they probably have been up till now because you've probably chosen relationships and career opportunities based on your psychological childhood woundings. And if you don't open up your mind mind and begin to change the way that you think about yourself, about your life, you will continue to just make the same mistakes over and over and over again. Uh -huh, it's called growth. Two of Wands. Your future depends upon you flipping this Queen of Pentacles in the upright, knowing your self-worth and accepting what the universe has on tap for you, Taurus. It depends on it. You're at a crossroads for your future. Prince of Cups in reverse right here, right? Prince of Cups in reverse is talking about your hurt feelings. Hurt feelings for getting fired. Hurt feelings for getting dumped in a relationship. Hurt feelings for your person not being able to step up to your expectations. Hurt feelings perhaps because you couldn't meet someone else's expectations. All fragmented hurt feelings in that Prince of Cups in reverse. And this is your crossroads. Five of Cups in reverse comes on top of this and says it's time to move on from loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. It's time to move on from wishing that you had handled something a little bit differently. Shoulda, coulda, wouldas. There's not one thing you can do to change the past. Not 10 seconds ago. There's not one thing you can do to change the past. Mm -mm. You need to move on. Move on. Six of Pentacles in reverse. In your greed, in your greed, in your sense of well-being. That's what this card is about. Greed in the sense of well-being is the Six of Pentacles in reverse. I don't want to share my time. I don't want to share my life. I don't want to share my prosperity. I got this locked down by myself, for myself, with no one else. And that is counterproductive to the way that your life needs to go. It's counterproductive to the destiny that you came here to fulfill. And then the Knight of Pentacles in reverse stuck here. Stuck. And the universe, whoever this is for, the universe is saying, come on with it. Let's get this going on. Change your mindset. See your life from a never-ending fluid progression and not just from your flesh and bone human experience being all disgruntled because something didn't go your way. Possibly not taking responsibility for the choices that you've made in your life. It's time to cut loose this Eight of Swords mindset so the, so the universe can rain down on your life. The sun, the path to happiness, success, and vitality is always found in the healing of the inner child. That's what the sun card is about. You guys see it up there? That's what the sun card is about. It's about the healing of the inner child. And your wounded inner child has you as the queen of pentacles in reverse. It has you either as the king of wands in reverse or lamenting about the king of wands in reverse, right? It has you stuck in the eight of swords. It has you with a distaste in your mouth about the king of pentacles in reverse and the ten of cups in reverse. It has you gr holding on to an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. This is an ego-based Taurus that needs to understand that your way is not the best way. Especially if you're running your emotional show from the perspective of a wounded 10-year-old kid. Mm -hmm. That's what happens when we have emotional woundings in our childhood. That's what happens, right? It's a compilation and it's a straw that breaks the camel's back, creates that gash. 
And if we never go back and address it, if we never go back and deal with it, it continues to bleed all over our life. And your emotional functions never really grow past the 10-year-old, the 13-year-old, the 16-year-old, the 3-year-old, okay? You've been running your show based upon a psychological, emotional wounding that keeps you in a place of egocentric, self-centered care. And these cards need this Taurus to step out of that. To step out of that. All right. The Alchemist. Manifestation. Right? You have the power to manifest any kind of reality that you want to. Why would you manifest anything other than your soul's destiny and your soul's purpose? I mean, why would you? Do you truly believe and think that you know more than universal order? Do you truly believe that your choices in life are better than your soul's guidance? And if you do, then you can just click off this reading and head on because there ain't no hope for you. There's no hope for you if you are so embedded in egocentric, self-centered maneuvering through life. I can't help you. No one can help you because no one ever changes until they get sick of their own bullshit. In this particular Taurus right here, it's time to get sick of your own bullshit so you can change and grow and step into the beautiful destiny that universal order has in store for you. Or just keep doing it yourself. Just keep doing it yourself and keep getting what you always got. You have the power to manifest everything, but it starts with healing that wounded child inside of you. The Ten of Pentacles, that's your future. The Three of Pentacles, they need your teamwork and collaboration with Universal Order in order to put you in alignment with whomever or whatever this opportunity is with the Ace of Wands, the Three of Cups, and the Hierophant right here. They need you to participate to the Ace of Cups. They need some emotional growth from you, Taurus, so you can emotionally engage appropriately in this coming transformation. The moon in reverse, again, come into terms with that which you know to be true inside of yourself and that which you don't necessarily want to accept is the truth. Maybe you know deep inside of yourself that you're fucking up all over the place, but you don't want to accept the fact that it's your fault and nobody else's fault. Two of Swords, crossroads, big, huge crossroads. You only have two choices in a two. You either change the way that you think or you don't. And those are your only two choices. Seven of Wands in reverse talks about someone who's not dealing with something. What do you need to deal with? Look, the sun again. You need to heal the wounded inner child who is running your whole emotional show because they're searching over and over and over again for you to make your childhood better in your adult life and all you're doing is perpetuating the same childhood over and over and over again because you're letting the wounded child choose your path. Nine of Cups in reverse. Emotional dissatisfaction. The Two of Cups. Relationships. Union. The Two of Wands. Double Twos. Your future. Your future involves some kind of relationship that is in your best and highest good, but this particular Taurus doesn't want to participate. Princess of Swords, communication. No, I think this is more about planting new seedlings of thoughts in your mind, planting new seeds of this internal self-narrative that this wounded child keeps replaying over and over and over inside of yourself. It's time for a new narrative. It's time for the adult grown-ass Taurus to take control of their wounded emotions and plant new seeds of thoughts inside of their mind so they can be led to their destiny. Ten of Wands in reverse. Dump the burden once and for all. Temperance in reverse because the burden that you carry of this wounding in your childhood 
is an imbalance in every aspect of your life. Temperance is about the balance of all four elements that make up the human nature, the mind, the emotions, the sense of well-being, and the desires. In the reverse, this is a greedy grabbing little kid who wants what they want, what they want, and they're not willing to accept or do anything else. It's like a kid that's throwing a fit. I don't want it any other way. I want it the way that I want it. I don't want it any other way. And just like I would do if my kids were acting that way, the universe walks away. They're like, I'm not going to intervene in your free will. I can't intervene in your free will. We're not allowed to intervene in your free will. I'll be here when you're ready. And in the meantime, it's in your best interest to dive in and fix all of this. The star. And we will gladly show you your path and your purpose. We will gladly take you to where it is that you need to go. We will show you the renewal of your life, seven of swords, but you can't run the show. You can't run the show. You can't. Four of swords in reverse. Mentally restless about a lack of success in your life. Nine of wands. Fight the good fight. Fight the good fight. Push forward. Handle your business. The guy in the nine of swords handles his business. Seven of Swords is someone who is defensive, backing up, backing up, backing up from whatever business it is that he needs to handle. Then comes the Eight of Wands, right? Did I say Swords? The Seven of Wands is backing up. Then comes the Eight of Wands, which is a big, huge internal change. And then you step into the Nine of Wands, which is about going forward, fighting the good fight. The guy in this card is like, bring it. I dare you. Bring it over here. I dare you. Right? The guy in the seven of wands is like, please don't come over here. Please don't come over here. I'm so tired of this. Please don't come over here. And the guy in the nine of wands is like, let's do it. Let's do it. And this is where the Taurus needs to be. Let's do it. Let's handle these emotional woundings. Let's go back and make sense out of our childhood. And it doesn't mean your parents were terrible people. They might be. But it doesn't mean that they are. They're just humans trying to cope with life the best that they can and raise their kids with the skill set that their parents gave them. And nobody gets out of childhood unscathed. Prince of Pentacles in reverse. Stuck. Stuck in your humanness to strength. Strength says overcome this. Overcome this. Have the courage to know your power and overcome this. Two of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Balance, prioritization, prioritize this. The King of Swords, finding the truth, seeking the truth. Hopefully this reading created some kind of spark of truth in someone out there. Owning yourself, bossing up and saying the buck stops here no more. No more, no more, no more. To the King of Wands, this is your success. This is your desire to conquer this whole issue that we've been talking about this whole time. This is your desire for success. And it comes from conquering everything that we just talked about. And then justice is the last card in this whole spread. Justice is about your accountability. It's about what's in your best interest, what's good and right and fair and proper is for you to take accountability that your life is the way that it is because of you, because of your choices, because of your decisions, because you're letting a wounded 10 year old kid run your emotional show. Stand up, brush yourself off, go back into your childhood, read my book. It will help tremendously. There's also a video I'll try to pin to this video about how to heal yourself. Go back, heal yourself, understand, don't waller in it. Heal yourself, understand it. Do some Googling about whatever childhood issues that you have. See yourself written in the pages on the screen or in the book, right? And close it and be done with it and stand strong and push forward because the only way to happiness, success, and vitality in your life is the healing of that inner child. Hope that helps someone. Stand by and get some information about my book. Namaste. You are a soul having a human experience, not a human having a soul experience.
You are a beautiful thread in the tapestry of universal order. You are ancient and never-ending. You have a purpose, this life experience has meaning, and you are important. Your journey on this planet, in this lifetime, is not by accident. You are exactly where you need to be right now. Walk with me through the antiquated concepts of spiritual ascension with a step-by-step guidebook to help you find your higher self and mesh your consciousness with your soul's guidance to live with intention and purpose. This book is gender neutral, religion neutral, and judgment free. It is a safe place to explore and expand your desire for growth and understanding. There is no agenda here. There is nothing that you should or should not be. Just straight talk that will challenge everything you think you know about this thing called life.